Lana JP, when you think of the rock group Queen, you probably think of the music first. Lasted at stadiums around the world for decades, the remaining members of Queen say they've now moved on past the music to other interests. I don't think I'm smart enough to be talking to you today. Oh, no, get out of here. The list of letters behind your name, I saw that first and went, he's a Ph.D.? That's pretty amazing. And then I got the book, <laughs> and I spent the evening last night with the book. The oh, book great. The book is pretty amazing. Uh, thank you. I'm glad it got to you. Yeah, I like to hear that wow thing. It's always been a passion. You know, I suppose I have many passions in my life for which I'm thankful, but uh, the magic of stereo photography and 3D, as it, as it became called in the 50s, 1950s, um, has always just entranced me and of course it goes back to the dawn of photography which not a lot of people realize how do you feel about the time in queen how do you look back at that time we were together longer than any of our marriages lasted uh, and, and we were very close and yeah it, it, it doesn't go away but i feel a lot of joy these days you know you get through your your principal grieving process i suppose and i, I certainly did and i didn't want to talk about queen for a few years afterwards didn't want to have anything to do with it sure But I got over that, and I'm, I'm very proud of what we achieved in those days as boys, you know, tramping around the world and thinking we were great and uh, taking a lot of risks. Um, and I certainly think of Freddie every day. He was a very unusual man. He's very risky. He's very... Uh, he was his own person in a way which is quite hard to achieve. He wasn't a, a pleaser. He was a person who had a focus and understood what he wanted to do in his life, and he, he damn well did it. What would he think of this book? Ah, oh, he would love it, yeah. He, he loved photography. His, his great thing was when we were on tour, the, um, the Polaroid camera was invented. And the, he just loved it because it, it became part of his social life. He loved everything instant. But he was a person of the moment. And the fact that you could take a picture and instantly see it and share it with your friends and have a, have a laugh about it, he, he loved that. Well, Brian May, I appreciate your time today. I think you're too smart to talk to me still, but I appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Okay. Love the Houston.